Hi, I'm Roger Margulis, Research Director at O'Reilly, and we're here with Ben Werther, the CEO and founder of Platfora. We're old friends, so it's really great to see you again. I'll well, thanks, take... thanks, Roger. Great to be here. Good to see you. Um, so, last year at Strata, you said it's the end of the data warehouse, a term that you know has some funny connotations these days. Yeah. Uh, what's new this year? Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting. A year goes by, you know, last year talking about, you know, really the point was not that we're going to throw away the old technology, but there was a shift to needing the flexibility of being able to, you know, store all these, these immense amounts of data, you know, in their raw form and really use them in a productive way. And I think, you know, you look at Teradata missing their number recently. I think, uh, it's, I mean, in many ways it's coming to pass. The, the, you know, the sense that there is a shift, a generational shift going on and these new ways of using data are you know, going to allow new levels of insight, new levels of agility, much richer ability to use all the raw material and not have to spend you know, two year IT projects up front to get going. But, um, yeah, it's, it sounds a little like being dynamic is part of that equation, yeah. which kind of leads to, in your talk earlier today, yeah. you said something along the lines of BI equals BS. I did, I uh, did. A, you know, a bold thing to say. And I think the funny thing with that kind of BI thing too, and BS, not BS, but BI, is the semantics are kind of confusing. So maybe you can both go into that yeah. and. Absolutely, so I, we see, you know, we see companies, you know, they're customers of ours, like, you know, City, Comcast, Netflix, uh, Disney and others, all trying to wrestle with the kinds of data that are landing th across their business. And, it's, and there are, we see two kinds of companies, those that understand that there are these, the, these new digital touch points, like 98% of the data in some companies is web and mobile and Internet of Things, sensors and these, these massive new data sets. There are the companies that are trying to connect the dots and understand patterns of behavior to see more and understand more. And then there are the kind of companies that are living basically with the databases they had 15 years ago and the level, the siloed views. Um, and we think there's a clear line between sort of driving that business with pretty pictures against these silos, this idea where you're really making decisions on fiction, feeling, faith, that some, against some metric that you know doesn't really reflect what's going on, versus the companies that are striving to you know, understand how to connect behavior, you know, action results across all these data sets and really, and really see more and make smarter decisions. You know, one of the things, because I'm familiar with kind of like the way Platform works is an implied workflow and it seems like a workflow towards agility. Absolutely. How important, like that also seems to be one of the separators between yeah. the kind of old guard and the new guard, is it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that you know, there's so much, there's so much um, raw data, and, and if you have to manually pre-process it, do all that upfront work, it's too slow, you're always beholden to IT. A lot of the power is about democratizing and making this self-service so that a user can see the catalog of data they have, all these raw data sets, but as they decide something's interesting, if it isn't already um, materialized into a form that can, that is fast, the system will automatically do that. It's a iterative workflow mm -hmm. that, that allows them as a, as, as a business user to sit there in an afternoon and pull in new data sets into, that could be petabytes in size, and incorporate them into an analysis. We've seen, just remarkable difference in the time to value compared to, time to insight, compared to other approaches to doing that. That's great, I know you're talking later about Riot Games, yeah. maybe that's an example of someone who's done yeah. something uh, agile. Well, you know, Riot Games is a wonderful, you know, great organization, they have the biggest online game in the world, League of Legends. Uh, League of Legends is a uh, you know, worldwide phenomenon. This is a company that's obsessive about the player experience. You know, they talk about how they're not, they're not data driven, they're data, they, they inform their decisions with data, which I think is in line with what we mean by the fact-based enterprise, because it's not about just saying, the number told me so, it's about knowing more and making smarter decisions to, to achieve the goal, which in that case is a great experience. And so what we saw with them was, and they'll talk about, we're going to be on stage today, later on today talking about this, they were trying to understand player behavior, understand, um, understand their game, which is running at massive scale, to make a, to improve the product experience and and be able to innovate in the game and see what's working and what's not quickly, and they found that they, there was so much data being generated by these teams that didn't really know how to 
process it, and it would take weeks or longer to build views that, they, that would allow them to understand what was going on. And so what we were able to do very rapidly, we've actually built an automated pipeline there where as they, as they build new mechanics in the game, it automatically takes the events that have been generated and starts to incorporate them into a lens that lets you do sub-second interactive things with Platfora. But then they can also incorporate more data uh, if they want to sort of connect the dots in different ways. So, you know, what's particular, what I love about these guys is they'll tell the story how a year ago they saw my, they saw the keynote, they got excited, they came over to me, and literally that was the beginning of the journey, and now we're sort of integral to how they do the data processing. Well, that's great. So, your tagline is around this fast, fact-based uh, enterprise yeah. and stuff. You know, what, what distinguishes, what are the, Factors yeah. that make it. It sounds like you're describing some in the Riot Games case, but yeah. I mean, I think let me let me answer that in two parts. I think start with, I think the most important emerging category in the software industry, which is big data analytics. You know, BI as a category has sort of failed. As you know, I talked about BI. What I meant by BI equals BS is really you know the, this this notion that the pretty picture is enough, um, especially when you want to see patterns of behavior and understand you know, across these channels of interaction, what drove results you wanted to understand. So we, we're, you know, in our, in our new product, we're, we've added very, really a, a whole new capability that's never been seen before in the industry around uh, event analytics. So understanding patterns of behavior, visual funnel charts, segmentation against all of the raw Hadoop data in a way that uh, is really, really powerful. So we think this big data analytics category is at the heart of how companies are going to leverage all this raw material and, and turn it into something real. And, and, and big data analytics is really about regular people, business users, not data scientists per se, although they do great important things, not programmers per se, because they, you know, they have their role, but how do you let regular business users use this data, answer real questions, share them, and, 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 and make, make the organization smarter? And so the fact-based enterprise is really a movement around the companies that recognize the, the, the old ways leave them to make these decisions where they're guessing half the time, most of the time, and they want to see the bigger picture. They want to they know and be able to do testing, you know, A-B testing about patterns of behavior across channels. If I'm, a, if I'm a retail bank, you know, the first 90 days is so important for the customer experience. The old the traditional way of doing that is there's, a, there's web interactions, there's branch interactions, there's email. These things are fragmented. I, I have no ability to really understand what drives an outcome. As soon as I can weave that together, now I can actually optimize, understand, do testing of new ways of interacting, and drive higher value. So this isn't just about you know, the, these next generation sexy use cases. We think the fact-based enterprise gets to fundamental business questions that every company struggles to answer, and that you know, in doing so, they're going to find new efficiencies and be, you know, that their competitors can only dream about, new insights and dreams to better outcomes. That sounds great. Good yeah. luck with what you're doing. It Thank sounds you. pretty interesting. Thanks so much. Thanks it was great, great to be here.